All right, today's video is a must have finish that you have to have in your bag. And make sure you watch the entire video because I'm also gonna give you two drills that'll work on this finish as well. But let's get into it. Welcome back pro trainees. And if you are new pro training, my name is Coach Tony. Welcome to our channel. If you really wanna help out our channel and see our future content, make sure you like this video, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our new content coming to you weekly. So let's get into today's clips. All right, so the one finish that every player has to have involves the actual finishing part of the layup, okay? so. All my younger players, you're always tall. As you get to the basket, get that ball up and you're gonna flick your wrist and make the layup, okay? That is all fine and dandy, but once you get to the higher level, especially high school and college, you're going to have to learn to get your under your hand under the ball for an underhand layup, okay? Now, some of my old school players are gonna say finger rolls are not good, but the game has evolved, players have evolved, they've gotten bigger and more athletic, and if you don't use this underhand layup from time to time, you will not be a great finisher. So let me explain when you would use this underhand finish. So let's say I'm going to the basket, okay? Most of the time when we're going to the basket, coaches explain to us, go outside foot, inside foot, bring it up and finish at the rim. That works very well if the defender is in front of you. But if you're gonna be a high level scorer, there's gonna be a lot of times where that defender is either on your side or behind you. So you can just imagine if I'm driving to the basket and I got a defender behind me, all right, and I raise this ball up, that's gonna actually bring the ball closer to that defender so that they can block it. Okay, but what I want to do is if I can go to the basket and now I got that defender on my hip or my back, I can extend that ball away from the defender. Now they got to go through my body and my arm to get to the ball. All right, so now this is a lot more important and it's got to be a part of your game to get that underhand down. And I'm going to show you a couple drills that is going to help you master this underhand layup. So let's transition into those. All right, so the first drill that we're gonna work on for this underhand finish is what I call stationary finishing. So you're just gonna find a spot on the court. So let's just say you're right-handed, you wanna work on that right side. You're gonna get right inside the block, inside the key, all right? All you're gonna do is you're gonna be stationary here and you're just gonna really work on just underhand layups to get that layup off the glass, working on hitting different parts of the glass, maybe even putting some spin on the ball. So I'm here, I can work on my right hand, I can also work on my left hand. So I'll literally just shoot the layup, use the glass, get the ball, and then return back to the spot. Also, you gotta do the same thing on the other side. So I come to the other side, get a nice distance away from the backboard, and literally just work on flipping that ball underhand as you go to the basket, just to get used to using the backboard, getting that underhand uh, finishing in there. And then you also work on your inside hand on this side too, because you got to go left hand and right hand on both sides. All right, so what I would do if it was my workout, I would start on the right side. I would go 10 makes with the right, 10 makes with the left, switch sides, go 10 makes with the left, 10 makes with the right. That's 40 makes right there, and you haven't even started running yet. All right, so let's check out the live clips. Drill number two is called quick finishes with our underhand layup, all right? So just call it quick finishes. So I'm gonna start here on the elbow and you can mix this drill up. You can start at a triple threat. You can start off a dribbling move that you wanna work on. But our goal here is to be efficient and get up a lot of reps. So I'll start here at the elbow. Let's just say I'm working on my triple threat. I would rip to the basket. I'm only gonna take one dribble. Now, when I get to the hoop, I'm gonna pretend I have a defender on my hip or behind me, and I'm gonna scoop that layup right off of the dribble. I could use two hands if I need to, but it's a little bit quicker if you can get that ball up right from that last dribble. So again, I'll start back at the elbow, all right? I'll do my move, get to the rim, all right? I might finish with my right foot, right hand, 
it might be left foot, right hand, it doesn't matter as long as you mix it up and make it game-like, okay? You can also add dribbling moves, all right? And then you can also work on going across the lane. So let me show you that real quick before we get into the live clip. So if I'm here and now I'm working on my dribbling moves, say I do a move here, I'm going across the lane, my defender's on this side, I can work on that underhand scoop layup over here, all right? To get it away from the defender and extend away from the block. All right, so let's get into some live clips. If you want a free 30 minute dribbling workout that you can do right at home, make sure you head over to perfectyourgame.com. Don't forget to like this video, comment below on what other videos you wanna see in the future, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our content going forward. But until then, perfect your game. Peace.